Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Next Gen Study and this is the part 7 of our video series on general defenses and law of thoughts. As a pehle wale videos mein we had discussed on the topic of when will one need to apply general defense and we learned the topics or the defenses we can say of voluntary non-fit injuria, plaint of the wrongdoer, inevitable accidents, act of God and necessity. And in this video we'll be covering the topic of private defense. So what is private defense? Private defense is a right which a person inherits and which can be used for protection from bodily harm and harm to property. So law jo hai, wo ek insan ko permission deta to protect his life and his property from any imminent danger or threat to it. Ab layman ke word mein baat kare, to private defense is use of any otherwise unlawful action in order to protect oneself or any other individual to protect the property or to prevent any other crime. Now, what private defense ke liye, ya fir hum bol rahe, self defense? Ke liye kya -kya karte to protect one's property, people keep broken glass pieces on the wall, they do fencing. And some to protect themselves and their property, they keep a fierce dog. And these actions are all justified in the eyes of law. Essentials to claim defense under private defense. The first is that there should be an imminent threat to the personal safety or property. That is, at ke samne jo bhi threat ho, wo is moment pe ho, and that if you don't react now, you might suffer some harm or loss. The second is that the force that is used is absolutely necessary to repel the invasion. That is, apne jitna bhi amount of force use kiya, agar aap wo use na karte, then you might have suffered some harm or loss to your property. So, you have to justify that use, uh, my usage of force was necessary at that moment. The third is the force used by the defendant should be in proportion to the act committed and enough to ward of the imminent danger. It should not be excessive and must not be out of proportion to the apparent urgency of the situation. That is, defendant ne jo bhi amount of force use kiya hai, khud ko protect karne ke liye, fir khud ke property ko protect karne ke liye, that should be in proportion to the act committed. It should not be excessive. For example, A is about to slap B and B has, the, B has an idea of that. So B takes out his pistol and shoots A. Now this is excessive. One cannot take out his pistol and shoot the other just because he's coming to slap him. So in this case B will be held liable for the act which he has committed because this cannot be taken as private defense. So now let's have a look at the cases under private defense. The first is Birch versus Holbrook. So this major defendant tha, he owned a garden where he grew some precious tulips. But in his garden, se bar -bar tulips chori ho, ho jaya the, along with their roots. So he decided to set up a spring gun trap. Now when he set up the trap, he didn't regarding notice. Nahi diya. So one day the plaintiff uh, while he was passing through the garden, he suffered some serious injuries due to the automatic discharge of spring guns. The court held that the act of defendant is not justified and the plaintiff is entitled to get compensation for the injuries suffered by him. The next case is Ramanuja Mudali vs M. Gangan. So, this is the land on Urtha, that is the defendant. He had land pe sare live wires on his land. So one night plaintiff in order to reach his own land tried to cross the defendant's land at 10 p.m. Usse shock laga and he sustained some serious injuries due to the live wire. And this live wire ke regarding defendant ne koi notice nahi lagaya tha. The defendant was held liable in this case and the use of live wires was not justified here. Morris was his nugget. This major defendant tha, he was passing by plaintiff's house. And the plaintiff's dog tha, he came and bit the defendant. So the defendant turned around and raised his gun, but up the dog bhaag chuka tha. But still, the defendant had shot the dog anyway. It was held that the defendant's act was not justified as there was no real threat at the time the defendant shot. And so he could not claim the plea of private defense. That is it for this video. If you liked it, then don't forget to hit the like and share button. 
Also subscribe to our channel Next Gen Study and if you want the PDF of the content which we keep uploading then follow us on Telegram and join our channel the link to which is given in the description box. Thank you.